still got this bloody paint on me. So, I knew I was doing some kind of shit on YouTube and looking all fabulous and stuff. And talking about um, lesbians and gays and all that. And Islam and so confusing, you know. She's got a lot of... Um, a lot of people talking about a lot of things on different sides and um, really I think he hit the nail on the head at one point when he said starting to actually defend paedophiles like actually starting to defend paedophiles like, and, uh, I think that's just the thing that fucking like really goes beyond things because they ruin people's lives, ruin like the whole of their life. And I was reading a story actually about um, this guy and he was, he was doing a confession and um, he's confessing that he'd been molested by two girls when he was a kid. And they were his age roughly. Um, and that he'd been molested when he was a kid by these two girls. And that he was too afraid of the stigma of being molested by these two girls that he didn't want to come forward. <clears throat> so. And I um, remember when I was a kid, there was these, um, I grew up in this particular town in London, and there was these two girls, and um, they uh, were not nice, <laughs> and um, yeah, I remember one day I'd had enough of their fucking bullshit, and I ended up. Uh, <laughs> I'd been watching Bruce Lee. <laughs> I'd been watching Bruce Lee, and uh, there was he did this thing where he was like jumped up into the air and kicked these two guys in the face like. So then they came for me that day. Their usual routine was to sort of like get me on one side and the other. And um, I jumped up and I went, what? <laughs> kicked them straight in the fucking badge. <laughs> and I ran for it. I just fucking bolted like fucking shit. They're going to fucking kill me. Sure enough, uh, their mother then came, and her, their mother was not a nice woman either. And she sat me down and went, look, there's a footprint. And she, like, pulled their pants down and showed me where, like, my trainers had left a fucking footprint on their fucking... <laughs> it's not funny. It's really not fucking funny. Because that was dark times, man, dark times. And, um... But I was reading this this guy's confession of like how he was just too afraid to speak out against um, being molested by these two girls when he was a kid. And um, I thought I would just sort of share that as well, actually. And um, girls can be cruel, really, really cruel. And uh, that's the reality of, of life, to be honest. Um, Men can be cruel, and uh, you can't make judgment values. You know, when I was I was a kid, um, you know, I got abuse from those girls primarily because of what was happening to them at home. Um, and I knew them. You know, I was there when their dad would come home, and um, they kind of took it out on me. Um, and of course, you know, I had my abuse as well um, from men in that time. Um, I don't really like to talk about those times because those times are past and reliving them doesn't change the memories. 
but sometimes sharing experiences help and sharing I thought I'd make a video and share that <clears throat> and um you know in solidarity with the kind of thing also um I feel like I've opened the, f the doorway in my head to that kind of memory and that's going to take me a while to sort of like get over again um, because I was, um, you know, I was, I was about six years old I think, seven years old and um it was dark, it was a dark time in my life. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you know, you kind of just um, sort of think to yourself, some, you know, some guy on the internet says something and you just go, hey, me too, dude. <laughs> me too. So I thought I'd share that. <laughs>